Right, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world today. We're going to make a little phone call. And who are we going to make a phone call to? Amnesty International. Amnesty. If anybody wants to call them, it's 020 1500. International, if we've got some queries about human torture and prisons in Cuba. This is what Amnesty did, did you notice the first thing? So, if you remember, call in. Mm -hmm. So they have a membership scheme going. Well, I hope nobody's in trouble today. I hope nobody's been uh, tortured or imprisoned like slaves. Maybe they're very busy because people are. Maybe they figured it out. If we can't get through to Amnesty International, who else will be able to help? Nobody. But surely. I mean, what would you do about? Uh, Amnesty International, good afternoon. Hi, uh, Amnesty International. Yeah. Um, it's like the Human Rights Action Centre. Oh, okay. Just one moment. Thank you. Is that Amnesty International? Yes, yeah, Amnesty International UK, yes. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, the Human Rights Action Centre, yeah? Yes. Uh, I wonder if I could ask a couple of questions. Okay. Um, are Amnesty International UK aware that there's a prison in Cuba called Guantanamo Bay? Um, excuse me, sorry, you've, you've, you've come through to the Human Resources Department, sir, the Personnel Department. I just want to customer um, services or um, general inquiries, yes, please. Yes, please, if you would. Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry, I apologize. I'll put, I'll put you on hold and I'll transfer you in a second. Thank you so much, sir. They had their own human resources. Strange, though. to the people. Mm. Here we go. Hi there, I'm Nisty International. Um, I wanted to speak to um, sort of the customer services or a, a general inquiry. Yeah, you're through to the support care team. We do all the kind of membership administration and uh, general public information requests, that kind of thing. Oh, um, great. It's regarding Amnesty International as the Human Rights Action Centre UK. Um, I was just wondering if Amnesty International are aware that uh, there's torture going on at, at uh, a prison in Cuba called Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, we obviously we've done work on uh, Guantanamo over the years. Uh, so um, how come Amnesty International has not arrested President Barack Hussein Obama yet? For crimes of torture uh, and, and slavery? I mean, we've called, you know, we've done various different work on Guantanamo over the years, and we did actually call for um, George Bush to be uh, arrested when he visited other countries that he, um, you know, was. Because in, when he wrote his autobiography, he basically admitted complicity 
in torture. Um, wow. We did call for, we did call for that. Um, no, he wasn't arrested, was he? What, sorry? He wasn't arrested, though. Well, we can't, you know, we don't have the power to arrest somebody. We kind of call on state to, um, you know, to take actions like that. So, yeah. for example, when Bush visited other countries, then we said that they should, um, you know, arrest him with a view to uh, prosecuting. Right, that's, that's you know, fantastic. We're not, we're not a law enforcement agency. Do you know, I actually went to the local police and tried to report these crimes against humanity that uh, the US president and, and uh, the people in Guantanamo Bay are doing against people without any charges whatsoever. And I said, they said, we're not interested in you reporting this to the police. It's nothing to do with us. And they, they told me to, to call Amnesty International. I, I just don't yeah. understand what's going on. The crimes against humanity and slavery and torture, well, we all know it's not correct, don't we? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and, you know, we've been campaigning against uh, Guantanamo and other human rights abuses in the name of counter-terrorism uh, for many, many years, and, um, you know, we've done that in, in various different ways, um, and all of that information is available, you know, on our website, if you want to have a look at the kind of work we've done. Up. Yeah, you guys um, do uh, w wonderful work. Um, I, I actually went to um, the international police as well, and they, they didn't want anything to do with it. And it's like, you know, people talk about human rights. I mean, there could be lefts and ups and downs, but it's it, the aid agencies, the governments seem to be the real terrorists, don't they? Um, well, certainly we, you know, we've said that the human rights violations are uh, happened at Guantanamo and elsewhere. Um, yeah, they are crimes, and they should be investigated and, and prosecuted. Um, so, yeah, so absolutely. You know, one one thing I do on that. You know, Amnesty does. Amnesty is a campaigning organisation, so we try and kind of mobilise our members to to pressurise politicians to take action. Uh, so there are other organisations that do more on the kind of direct legal front, so organisations like Reprieve, who, you know, represent the, some of the individuals uh, being held at Guantanamo. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's various different organisations working on the issues in, in various different ways, you know, right. hopefully the same act. It's, you know, it's just amazing to think that uh, these so-called governments, the mind controllers, actually tell us that this is democracy. And yet the, the President of the United States, supposed to be the most powerful man in the world, is still committing crimes against humanity and atrocities of torture and enslavement. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. And that's, you know, that's why we, we continue to work on it. And we'll be highlighting the anniversary is coming up of when Obama said he was going to close Guantanamo. Uh -huh. And obviously that hasn't happened, so we'll be using that anniversary to again highlight <laughs> our concerns about what's going on there and has gone on there for a dozen years now. Yeah, exactly. Um, it doesn't seem like the President of America is, is actually telling the truth. Oh, by the way, Amnesty International are not a registered corporation for profit, are they? We're a... In the UK, we have a status both some, some of our work is deemed charitable, so we have a kind of charitable arm. And we also have um, a kind of uh, not-for-profit company um, registered as a company for those parts of our work that aren't deemed eligible for charitable status in the UK. Oh, OK. Are you aware that uh, anybody can buy a credit report at the uh, company's house or Dun & Bradstreet on Amnesty International? They are a registered chari charity, obviously. But they're also a registered corporation um, for yeah. profit um, for their shareholders. Did you, are you aware of this? Well, we're not a company for profit. We're a, you know, we're a, in, in the same way that many NGOs are. You know, some of our work is just not eligible for charitable status in the UK. So our work, for our ca campaigning work, basically, is not deemed eligible under UK charity law. Um, so typically what organisations such as ourselves do is have um, a company limited by guarantee. And Not limited by guarantee? Are kind of guarantors. Um, you don't have a, um, a copy of uh, your shareholders, do you? Of uh, Amnesty International shareholders? A copy of our what, sorry? 
of the shareholders of Amnesty International PLC? Well, we're not a PLC. We're, we're a company limited by guarantee. That we're a me well, basically, we're a membership organisation, so our members uh, guarantee, you know. No. We're, uh, we're formed of our members, and, uh, you know, our members pay us a subscription, and, and that is our, you know, that is our fund. Oh, right. Are Amnesty International aware that anybody can buy a credit report on them? I'm sure they can, yeah. It's, uh, because obviously we have suppliers who supply us with services and, you know, they're completely, you know, they should know that we're going to pay their bills and whatever. That's, that's perfectly above board. There's nothing uh, oh, okay. unusual about that, I don't think. So um, what is Amnesty International going to do about uh, arresting these uh, criminals? You know, if, if, if the police are in it and the governments are in it together, who can you arrest? Because if it would just be like them arresting themselves, which they'd never do, would they? No, I mean, we consistently campaign for justice at three forums like the International Criminal Court. So um, when heads of state have committed crimes, uh, you know, the kind of systematic human rights violations that we're talking about, we would normally say that, you know, they should be investigated by the International Criminal Court. Obviously, the US is not um, a signatory to the International Criminal Court, so there's, there's problems there. Um, that's why typically with, with uh, George Bush, what we did was each time he travelled to a country that was uh, a signatory to the statutes of the International Criminal Court, we would say that they were then obliged to investigate and prosecute him. Mm. Um, Tony Blair so, was yeah, a, a warrant you know, out for his arrest as well. But, you know, we've got to work really within the kind of structures that are available to us. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all for you guys, but I, I just don't see any way out of it. If the government's own the police and that they're all in it together, and the courts as well, I mean, no people that have been to court, and um, they own the courts as well, so, you know, we're just wondering where it's going to go. I don't think Bush or Blair or even Cameron and Obama will ever be arrested because they seem to be in this massive negative other selves club of take. Yeah. And they're all in it together, aren't they? No, I mean, you're right. There's, there's no sign of um, people being held accountable for what, what's happened. That's absolutely true. And I thought slavery and had been abolished years ago. It's just that the government is actually enslaving us all. It's, 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 it seems insane, really. Can I help? Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I guess there has been some progress, at least, in, in terms of the UK government approach. Of, you know, when Guantanamo was open, they were basically completely supportive them, saying that the Americans had the right to, to do that, but at least now... Uh, at least publicly, the government are saying that, you know, it should be closed and that the UK residents that are there should be returned to the UK. Oh, most definitely, yeah. But, uh, mm, there has been some progress, and obviously the numbers there have reduced. We're now down to 100 and something. Where still 100 and something. You know, 700 and something. I mean, I'm, I'm totally with you guys, you know, it's, 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 it's totally insanity. A friend of mine's yeah. just with me, he wants to ask you a question. I, I'm just wondering, it seems that you get to a certain point within how far you can do, and it's been really actually nice hearing not only so much the honesty, the things that people think you're frightened talking about, as in government involvement and certain people, you know, like, such as the Bush um, idea of actually having him arrested. Is there anything that I or my friends could do to help because we don't seem to be afraid of arresting people but do you think that that could be done by general public now listening because you know a lot of people didn't believe any of this stuff but Amnesty International yeah, it's got to be respect for the work it's actually done but general public I believe are being cajoled into all sorts of things by being tricked and sent round and round the, the houses to get certain people to act for us like the police to arrest these people if they're not doing it, would you like any help or assistance? Because I'd like to offer some help. I can't give money, but I'm quite willing to arrest anybody if the evidence is there that they've been doing these horrible negative things. Well, I mean, it's, um, what we typically ask people to do is get involved in our campaigns. So that's generally by, um, you know, writing to their MPs and 
we have a lot of that amnesty. Yeah, but it, uh, it does. It does. It does seem that so. the re the reasons that people have ended actually turns to Amnesty International because myself personally and others we've already done this. So sending us back to the same wolves in the woods that we're actually fighting. Yeah, I'm wondering if Amnesty International is actually at a level where it can't actually progress further because of the red tape and the laws of those wolves. Whereas individually, I do not have to react if anybody tells me in America that he hasn't signed up to an agreement that he can't hurt me. Yeah, On a personal, individual basis, I can do something about it, but you've got all the information and you can't do anything about it because you have to actually play the game as a company. Individually, would I be able to actually help by tell me where they are and I should go and arrest them? What do you think? Uh, I can do it on my own. I can't do it on your authority, but I can I mean, do it on my own. You know, that's not something that we would ask our members to, to do, obviously. If, um, mm. Would it not be more constructive actually getting the money? I mean, obviously you're doing the publicity so people actually understand what's going on, which is absolutely essential. But it does seem like even you've got your hands tied. Yeah. Only information, that's what I'm trying to do as well, and you, is you can get information out there. But without actually realising how powerful you are as an individual and myself, I mean, how many members do you think Amnesty International has worldwide? It's, I think it's about three million worldwide. Yeah. Three million people, and that's, that's quite a lot. I don't know if I can afford all the uniforms. Yeah, but you have the information and you're getting it out there. But if the people that we're complaining about are the people that you're then sending the complaints to, it's, it's, it's a bit like telling Jimmy Savile that his show's not very good. Do you know, you know what I mean? We already know what's going on, and we're writing to the BBC, and they're saying, well, he's not on anymore. And uh, I think it's time that general public, and if you've got three million people there, I think that's a lot of people. Maybe you should be a bit on a more stance of actually publicly, front page, that... George Bush has a warrant for his arrest out. Has anything like that happened recently? Yeah, I mean, you know, we do. If you, you know, we, we appear in the media a lot, and obviously we panic on stories in the media even more than they are. Mm. We can't control what the media reports, but... Yeah, are you getting the right feedback from the media then? I mean, quoted. would it be possible um, maybe if I took an advert out and I took a one page, say, in any mainstream newspaper that you wanted, Amnesty International, but you see, I would like to do that, that would be financially, but the one thing is I'm pretty sure nobody's brave enough from you to actually put full page, very simple, George Bush, guilty of war crimes, warrant for his arrest, as issued information from Amnesty International. Would you be willing for me to do that? Do you think well, I might? Yeah, I mean, we, we put our press release to that effect each, each time we've called for that action. Mm. Um, so, you know, by all means, you know, yeah. try and... Uh, Good. Well, I will use my own name because you know how things can come against companies causing problems, but I will be quoting about the issues and things that you've come across as a company and your name doesn't have to be said. But it does seem like that when you form company and join in, then there are company rules that are stopping you actually achieving what you see the problems are. And I know if you've already noted that and nothing can be done from your stage, three million people is not a bad number. I don't think you're getting in the same place at the same time, but I bet they're spread out. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, by all means, I, I'd encourage you as well to have a look on our website. Look at all the different work that we've done on, on the issue. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, anything that you can do to contribute would be great. Well, you sound like a good man. I just don't like to see good men with their arms tied behind their backs, still trying to fight. So, uh, if you come up behind you with a knife, you just have to cut your bonds, okay, and set you free, not to cause any more trouble. It's been really good speaking with you. I, I've actually finished, so I'll hand you back to the the uh, main man. Well, thank you very much, sir. Um, it's been a fantastic conversation. Um, I, I've still no idea uh, who we could actually get to arrest these, uh, these international criminals, like the governments, the police, even the councils are at it in the UK. They're all registered private corporations for their own shareholders, um, and they're in a massive club of take. Even Centrica, that own all the 12 major gas and electricity suppliers and British Gas, they actually own the national grid. So, but they split it up into so many different companies. But they're all, it seems like they're all in it together, that they're in one massive club of take, and, and you can't arrest them because there's nobody to arrest them. How can they arrest themselves? So what's the solution? Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I think as I explained, you know, Amnesty works on these things as, as campaign issues where we mobilise our members to 
bring political pressure to bear. Um, but some of the other issues that you raised are and down to our remit, you know, the corporation, what other corporations are doing in the UK and yeah. not within our work area. Have, have you ever noticed yeah. um, whichever political party, and they are having a party, whichever political party you vote for, government wins? Yeah. Anyway. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Well, it's, it's been interesting to talk to you anyway. It's been a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much. We wish you all the very best and hopefully you'll be arresting, you know, somebody at least soon will arrest these psychopathic criminal lying murderers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, young man. Okay. Much love, my friends. Thank you so okay. much. See? Well, there you have it, doctors. But you know that even the system there, he's a good guy. He's okay. trying to do the right things, yeah? And it's only at those little levels where he's doing the right things, that their hands are tied. But he had a lot of information. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's been surprised, because I think we've been talking about this before. No one believes there's a warrant out for the arrest. So there really is a warrant out for the arrest of George Bush. You heard that, didn't you, everybody? And Tony Blair. And Tony Blair. Well, Tony and Blair, Obama we as well. We didn't mention those. If he goes there. to other countries. We'll just see what happens. But remember, they, they very clearly pointed out that they haven't signed up for the game. Yeah. Yeah? That we can't do anything about America because America didn't sign up for the game. So they're outside of the game where we're meant to trust each other, not hurt each other. Oops. And they said, no, we don't want to sign that. So you have a right to stay out of the game. But they're using that to hurt others. Mm. But the That's truth is, it's not it. just America. No, it's And if worldwide. you start looking at anybody and they're pointing the finger and it's him, it's them. There's some, don't you think there's something to do with human rights? Because human rights can be wrongs, lefts, ups, downs. It, it doesn't make any sense. Well, you know, if you are a man and realise that we're all one, if I was to hurt or anybody else was to hurt anybody else, you would actually be hurting yourself. But you, you can't be given rights. I've got rights here, I've got lefts here, what difference does it make? Well, I love People it, have begged for thousands of years to get human rights. And then what did Theresa May say? I want to abolish human rights. But and people like Obama and Bush and Blair still torturing people in other countries. But why did she want to abolish human rights? It was stop remaining. To get people to comply. That's what she said, but it's nothing to do with that, because then that means that none of us have any human rights. Because if you don't comply, then they use force. And then they put you in what we used to be called jails, which are now prisons. Right? And prison, so you look up the word prison, it's for slaves on a ship. Well, you know and that of we course, are, we're all, we're, we all become slaves and nobody can arrest these psych, psychotic, mental, uh, delusional, mental patients. It's murdering, lying, torturous, psychopaths. Now, calm down, because you've got to remember, we are in Nottingham. And one thing we're we? very good yeah, at is our own goals. Anyway. Nottingham Forest particularly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it for now. So I hope you enjoyed our videos. I hope you did uh, too. Amnesty International seem really, really nice people, but they don't, they, they, they can't seem to do anything. Hands even with all the millions of money that they've got. Even if you can see what's going on, if you can't operate and do anything about it, you're not going to win. So it's very important to stay fit, healthy and alert and listen in case somebody isn't telling you the truth. <laughs> what's the truth? Truth is. Have you looked up the word truth? Have you ever looked up the word truth, Doctor? Do you know what it says? It says belief. And belief's got the word L-I-E in it, lie. So you'd be lying to yourself if you're looking for the truth. The, the truth is the things right? are open. And then you look at the yeah. word belief and it says how to have faith in something. And faith, if you look at the word faith, it says fear. So you're actually lying to yourself and putting yourself in fear if you're looking for the truth. Do you realise that? I have one belief. It's mine round and they're open. Okay. Love you everybody.